Hiking through the remote mountain trails of the Caribou, this is a view that takes your breath away. A view that Thomas and his crew hope will be shared by many. I might make up me on Saturday and ride it. It's beautiful. You have a drop from Highway 97 down to the Fraser River behind me and I would say the trail has a little bit for, for everyone. Uh, a beginner can just roll it. If you're a hiker, you can walk around those technical trail features. It's not an expert only trail, it, 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 it's geared to everyone. Attracting everyone from mountain bikers who are new to the sport to expert enthusiasts and even hikers. It was a strategic plan that was decided right from the beginning. One of the main things is too that we wanted to build something for our own community too. And you know there might be a few people who are quite advanced in their bike, bike riding skills, but a lot of people, a lot of our elders, even the younger kids, we didn't want to build a trail that then they couldn't use. And there are advantages to us, the mountain bike community as well. The more trail users we have, the more the trail stays in shape, the less maintenance we have to do. But in this particular case, it was part of the project. We want visitors to the heritage village to use the trail. We want to get community members out. And that has been the main goal from the Soda Creek First Nations Band since the very beginning. In fact, the entire project actually started last year with a much smaller but similar multi-use trail. We really wanted to know what is the community, what would the community like, what kind of recreational um, activities does everybody do, and uh, and everybody's like, yeah, we need more trails. The interest in the community grew to a point where we started building a short trail in Deep Creek behind the band office. Now community members are taking their lunch break to go out and hike that trail. There's a, a little lookout, and yeah, it just sparked interest within the community to do something on a larger scale. Today, the second part of the Soda Creek Atswell Trail project is currently underway, an additional three-kilometer mountain biking trail that starts from Blue Lake. I think we are creating the largest wooden structure in the Caribou in terms of trails, so we're hoping that's going to be a, an, an added attraction to come and check out the biggest bike structure in the Caribou, so to speak, or probably in the interior, yeah. When I get my first paycheck, it's probably one of the things I want to try and find is a, a nice mountain bike and so I can come and try out these trails that we're building. But for Thomas and his crew, this is much more than just a job. Creating paths for passionate mountain bikers is a form of art, a way to express their creativity while enjoying the outdoors. It's like one of the first things I thought of when I got hired on it. I get to make something for my son that he's gonna enjoy like pretty much for the rest of his life now because he, he stays out here with me all the time. It's just the jumps and the berms that I built. Pretty much a blank canvas and I'm here to like look at a line and I get that built out. Yeah, gives me the jitter sometimes and just hear that good feedback and kind of thing. And they can't wait. With its unique location, the trail might be the first to open this spring. When there is still snow in Williams Lake, often these hillsides here along the Fraser, just because they're south facing and the way that they are sloped. So we're really trying to get uh, riders from Williams Lake to come out here and extend the mountain bike season by almost a month with having these trails available to local riders. Riders can check out the status of the project on Facebook or their website.